Arbus has been getting a lot of requests um, from people who have bought a new glass base for, the, for their carbines and they're having immense problems putting on the V1 carbine that they had bought. So uh, I took it upon myself to grab a uh, V1 carbine and a brand new carbine base just so I could show you guys how to do this. Now, when I was tinkering with it, I understood immediately what the issue was. And I understood why some people might have a little bit of trouble getting this done correctly. Uh, but um, just so you guys know, it's not that difficult and I'm here to show you how. All right, let's begin. Once you take the up stem off from the base, the bottom part of the carbine that you have, you're left with the bottom half of the carbine. Now you don't need to remove the legs. You don't really need to remove like all these other pieces to it. The only thing you need to do is just turn it over and unscrew the base casing that holds the glass together. And you just take that off like so. Okay. Take out the LED light and slip out the old vase. When you grab the new vase, just open up the package and grab your vase out of the box. One thing you'll notice is that the brand new vase has a Starbuzz insignia in the bottom and when you compare it to the old vase, it's a lot thicker and therein lies the biggest issue you guys face when replacing your your uh, carbon base with a new one. Hearing you guys' issues, Starbucks has bothered to make sure that the new vases are a lot thicker than the previous gen ones. If you guys could tell the difference, it's about twice as thick as it is. Now the way the vase is fixated onto the kind of heart assembly of the carbine hookah is that this kind of slips onto a mechanism and an assembly over here on the inside of the bottom of the heart uh, supported by some o-rings which hold the vase in place and then it's further supported by the casing around the base itself to do this correctly you don't need to remove anything or do anything special to it what you have to do is just insert it at the very center and press down evenly until the vase itself slides into the crevice that it has. Now I'm gonna stand up to put it enough pressure onto this to make sure that it's correct. Once that's done, you can go ahead and grab the casing around the base and the LED, put the LED on of course, and the casing goes right over it, nice and centered. And this is the most important part where you have to start at a perfect alignment. So wiggle it a little bit until the, the whole thing is correctly in, uh, aligned and it should sli slip in and screw into place fairly easily. And there you have it guys. How to replace your V1 broken base with a V2 correct and brand new base. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what I'm doing, if, you, if this helped you somehow, please subscribe. Throw me a like, throw me a comment, and uh, catch me at Facebook at Hookah Unlimited, on Instagram at Hookah underscore Unlimited, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Deuces. And there in line, I'm going to say that again. Um, you're... you're <laughs> let me let me say that again. I'm gonna say that again. Let me say that again. <laughs> you can turn it off.